Don't go crying and saying how he beat you up and fed you to his dog, how he slept with your cousin, how he gave you a million STDs. Don't say those things. You're not there to badmouth that person. You're there to find out about this new person. You're not there to discuss your ex. <music> everybody how are you doing today i'm so excited you joined me this afternoon if you're new here my name is mudoni mukiri my channel is called mudoni's mission it's about emotional and mental wellness so dating 101 dating is supposed to be fun it's nice it's amazing you get to new to meet new people you know you get to also present yourself and show up so it's really an amazing time it should not be painful it should not be hard but it needs to be done right and that's why i have this topic today the do's and don'ts during the first day when going on a first day and during the date and just immediately after how should you carry yourself especially if you want something wrong term well how should you carry yourself, especially if you want something long term, if you're looking at dating purposefully, if you're looking at love, respect and commitment and probably eventually marriage or a long term commitment. So it needs to be done right. And that's why I decided to do this video, the do's and don'ts of dating. A really interesting topic. I'm happy to help. This is literally like I'm a dating coach. This is me like coaching you and taking you through it. Please let me know if this step, if this Please let me know if these tips work for you, if they come through for you. Add some more tips down there, some also some do's and more don'ts that you've come across. This is out of experience, you guys, and this is what I've learned and what eventually this is what I have been practicing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> So you've already met someone, maybe you've exchanged numbers. If you've not watched, please, if you want to get to a point where now we're talking about the day, first date, watch the video I spoke about dating tips. I have like eight tips I talk about dating. This one is about the first date. So you've already met that guy, you've already flattered, you've already, they've seen you on social media. They're probably your neighbor, they've seen you at an event, you've already exchanged contacts. So don't give too much information to a guy before the first date don't you know that those women you want to talk on the phone with a guy you just met for hours at i slept at 3 a.m talking to him why are you talking to him for that long and then you keep complaining he's not asking me out on a date because you're giving everything on the phone limit phone conversations limit them they should be very just small talk you know small talk hey hi okay all right how was your day that's it and then he will ask you out on a date because he wants to get to know you. Don't give information that you, you should be talking on the first date. Don't give that information on the phone. Let him ask you on a date. And don't prompt him. Just, uh, hi, hi, hi. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. Nini, what do you do? Nini, nini. It was nice uh, meeting you yesterday. So I'd like us to catch up for lunch. Yeah, that would be amazing. Like on a date. Yeah. And then go now for the date. So don't give him too much. TMI. You know, it will turn him off. Or he might not really need, if he need to ask you out on a date to spend his money. Uh, you're dishing out everything on the phone. So why should he take you anywhere? Sawa. Don't be your own enemy. Don't come in the way of your happiness. Sometimes the sky is not the limit. We are the limit. Sometimes we limit ourselves so much. Also, know his marital status before the first date. Ask him if he's married. Ask him if he has children. If he has been engaged. Know his marital status. Don't go on a first date with a guy. You don't know if he's married. And then his wife shows up on the first date. And then it's chaotic. And then you, you start behaving like he lied to you. Whereas you did not ask. Find out his marital status. Also, when you find out, that will determine whether you go on a date with him. You know, you're very special. You're very special. You are, very, you are a very special woman to your family, to your friends, to your colleagues, to the people in your life. But to men out here, you are just a woman he's getting to know. No offense. I'm just telling you things as they are. So if this guy tells you he has five baby mamas, I have five children with five different women, 
Let me tell you, you will be the sixth baby mama. If this guy tells you, uh, you know, I have issues with my wife, we are separated, but we are living in the same house, my friend, you will become a side chick. So don't think you're special to someone you just met. Look out for yourself. It's not his job to look out for your well-being. It's your job. So ask their marital status. If they have three children they don't even take care of, if um, they're still in a situation with their ex and they're still, you know, those, three, those situations, ask before, ask before you meet them on a date. Find out. So you also don't want to waste your time uh, putting on your makeup or your high heels or even going on wasting your time on someone. Or, or And then during the first date is when you're finding out he's actually married and he also have has two children out of wedlock. You know, do yourself that diligence. Ask his marit marital status before the first date. Also, I would I would say, for, this is me, for a first date, let him choose the place, let him choose the venue so you can see how good his taste is. And you know, sometimes it's like, you just choose the place. Just tell him, no, I want you to choose. I want to see how good your taste is, you know. Uh, yes. So he might maybe ask you for the location. Maybe you can say Westlands or whatever, whatever it's closer to your proximity uh but let him choose you know he's also the one paying and then it's the first date. you know you also want to see his vibe like what kind of a guy is he you know like which what kind of places does he visit when he tells you he wants to meet you for drinks don't do hangouts don't do hangouts at the ah journey i might pass by uh, closer to where you work we can catch a drink don't do that that's not a date that's a hangout that's a buddy's thing that's a bro thing you know, unless he wants to be in the bro zone. Yeah, you can actually joke about it like that. Wow, so you've decided you want to be on the bro zone. You want to hang out, huh? Uh, so when he says that, when he says he wants to hang out, just flip it around and tell him, how about we do lunch, like, on a date? How about we do lunch? How about we do dinner, a lovely dinner, so that by 9 you're already back home, or by 10, you know, you also don't want to prolong it anymore. You don't want to give him so much of you on the first date. So, like I've said, let him choose the place the first time. Or if he says, uh, if he really insists, you can say maybe between three places, you can tell him to choose a place. Do you know? So, uh, this place, this place, this place. And then, you know, he can narrow down to one. The first date, I say let him choose. Also, the first date, please take yourself to that date. Don't let him pick you up because he's a stranger. He's literally a stranger. You don't know him that well. And sometimes he can maybe want to choose to pick you so he can know where you live you live so he can start showing up and announce or doing uh, a drive by to see Amau at a corner you know uh the first date please take yourself on the date and bring yourself back home you also don't want him to drop you back and maybe you've had a glass of wine and then the date ends the following morning and you have to do walk of shame and then you have to start wondering am I, do i look cheap yes you look cheap if it it ends up in your house till the following morning so now you've gone on this date, make sure you have your own money. I spoke about that. Make sure you have money to pay for that food. Don't order for things you don't know, for things uh, that have ridiculous price tags, for bottles of wines that you cannot afford to pay that you've never had before. And then you start behaving crazy, you know, when you eat certain foods that are new, that you are not even used to. So please be simple, be simple. When it come to con comes to conversations, don't talk about your ex-boyfriends on the first date. Don't go into details. Of course, you can tell them, uh, my, my last relationship was less than two years. Uh, so how do, why did you break up? So you just tell him, uh, we had a lot of differences, so we parted ways. If he wants, just actually use the exact words. We had a lot of differences, so we just parted ways amicably. So if he wants to know the details, you can say things like, you know, religio religious differences or communication differences or, you know, uh, like, like you used to argue a lot and you didn't see the need of continuing in a dysfunction relationship and you, you both of you decided to part ways amicably. Don't go crying and saying how he beat you up and fed you to his dog, how he slept with your cousin, how he gave you a million STDs. Don't say those things. You're not there to badmouth that person. You're there to find out about this new person. You're not there to discuss your ex. Don't talk about your previous relationships too soon. A lady called Jennifer Mwangi, she's usually here, she's a therapist, a counselor, told me we ruin the relationships ourselves with our mouths your huku talking about hey even yesterday i was with martin who asked you as in how is that information helping the situation you're in if you go on a first date and you're talking about other men hey my first boyfriend was crazy he had my style like don't 
don't talk about your ex-boyfriends if you want to know wh why you broke up you had differences you parted ways eventually he might find out and in even in that eventually don't talk like a victim talk like a woman who knows her worth now talk like a woman who knows the things he did to me i didn't like but i know i enabled him and i would never take that at this point in my life get it but you see your first date first date is we parted ways and now i'm a single mom or i'm a single lady or you know um you know i'm available for dating also don't the first date you should not talk about sex it should not be sexual when he talks to you about your body count just you know just don't tell him your body count don't talk about your sexual encounters and probably when he starts going sexual on the first date he's disrespectful you can decide to stop it you know and tell him you're not comfortable talking about that you don't know him good enough that's a, a, a good reason um so let it not be sexual and don't talk about your ex-boyfriends what they did to you and how they made you cry don't do that don't talk about that in details immediately immediately you meet them so what conversations should you have you should have conversations revolving around uh, how you met your his upbringing i i feel like upbringing is really important because it shapes most of us because most of our adulthood experiences and who we are as adults was shaped by our childhood experiences so please find out about his upbringing how his relationship with his parents with his family how he was brought up where he went to school i feel it's it's a really good place to start start from way back also on the first date Ask him if you want to, uh, someone you would like to start a family with, ask him what he thinks about marriage, about parenting, about having children, what's his religion. Those are things you need to know on the first date. Because I feel if you're looking for something long term, if you want to get married, if you're looking at a point where you don't want to waste your time in relationships, then you need to know early on so you don't waste your time meeting him. And the reason you're asking, this is really important, so, so that when you know, you know whether you'll give him another date. If he tells you, ah, me, I don't do those marriage things. Ah, that thing is overrated. And you're thinking about marriage? That is not someone you want to see on a second date. So let the conversation be about your upbringing, uh, about his experiences, about uh, what he thinks about marriage, about children, about his faith. Like, is he God-fearing? Maybe it's important to you. Also about where he works. Maybe you can talk about even your JD, his JD. Also, I know it's an interview and for women, we're going there as an interviewee. But please answer questions when he asks you. Don't rubbish them. But then you want him to answer your questions you remember when i said you need to be what you're looking for please be that answer questions also know how to carry a grown-up conversation uh ask questions in return uh carry the conversation going and when they silence it's okay sometimes it can feel awkward but silence it's totally okay breathe in breathe out you don't have to talk the whole conversation you don't have to talk the whole time that's what i mean it's okay. You can ask a question. He answers and then they silence. That's totally normal. There's nothing uncomfortable about that. And you do not have to fill that silence with unnecessary talk. Don't embarrass yourself and don't come in the way of your happiness. So for the first, like the first three dates, please let him pay. Let him pay. We are Africans. And this is Kenya. We don't do that 50-50 thing, especially when you just meet someone is taking you on a first, second, third date. And you know, unless you want to treat him after that, we don't do that, you know, we're splitting the bill. Don't do that. And then after a few months, you're saying he does not pay the bill he expects you to pay. Men can be trained. And the way you show him, that is how he will treat you. So the first Second, that date, let him pick the tab, let him pay the bill. Afterwards, maybe you can decide to take him for coffee, for lunch. If you feel like you want to get to know him more, maybe after the third date. But the th first three dates, I would say, please let him pay. So you don't start entertaining feminine men who go on dates to be paid for food by women. And if he forgot his wallet on the first date, if you have to pay for the first date, I don't think you want to go on, on another date with him. If he is asking you for Uber money on the first date, uh, and, and you know what, that what that, that, and you know what that means? If you don't want him to ask you for Uber money, if you don't want him to start telling you how his financial issues, also don't talk about those issues with a stranger, with a guy you've just met, with a guy you're with on the first date. Uh, so let him pay. 
uh, if you had if it was a good date if it's someone you want to see again if he has respect he's god fearing he's what you want you're on the same level he would want to marry he want a long-term relationship maybe he want mono he wants monogamy and you want faithfulness as well if he's what you want don't ask him on a second date just tell him it was it was amazing you had fun you know like the conversations are really nice this was really fun just say that and leave it at that he will ask you on a second date most probably he will and when he does and you want it please avail yourself be available if you're looking at dating and if you're looking at doing this in a serious way please avail be available be available i'm not saying you need to be like when he calls you to show up no plan dates and actually thank you it's good i've remembered this there's this caliber of men who will tell you, by the way, I'm driving by your office. Are you in the office? We have lunch. Don't do those. The first, second, that date. Don't do those. Don't be, don't do spontaneous. You can do them eventually. I do them right now because, you know, we are deep into it. But the first three dates, it has to be organized. You don't even have to, have to tell him, excuse me, don't, I don't do those spontaneous. No, just tell him, uh, oh, I am too busy. Uh, I wish you had told me like the day before yesterday or yesterday I would have created time. How about, maybe he called you another, maybe he's calling you on a Thursday. How about we do lunch on Saturday? You can propose that. I Point is, be mature when it comes. You don't have to be a child, so he has to ask you every time. You know, when he proposes, uh, for example, after the first date, if he proposes, uh, it was really nice. We should do lunch probably next week. When he proposes that to you, yes, propose a date. Yes, how about Thursday or Wednesday? Wednesday or Thursday? One o'clock. How is that with you? Which, which day is okay with you? Take the conversation forward. Learn how to carry a conversation. So... So don't do those drive-bys. Ah, I was just around your place. So you make dinner, I come. Pick a dinner, Nikuje. Don't do those ones. Check out too, I have just had dinner. But we can, you know, we can do dinner one of these days when you're available. With their nice restaurants. How about we do? Yes. Carry the conversation forward. Don't be mean. Don't be angry. Especially if he's not. You know, there are men who don't know how to treat women from where they're coming from. And, but when you tell him, oh, I am not very good when it comes to doing spontaneous. How about we plan and go on a lunch date? That is after that, like the first date, you know. How about we go on a road trip? You know, you can suggest this, th those things and then he will catch up. Men can be trained. You train them. You train him. If you feel like you've told him and then he feels, ah, me, I don't do those dates. Cut off. Cut off. Cut off. Cut it off. Kabisa, lenga story kabisa. And like I said, don't deal with people who don't want the same things you do. Don't waste your time. I know for for the first date, everybody, we're all here saying it's free food. But also, you're also wasting your time. Cindy, Cindy, yeah. So I hope I've, I've said enough. I hope I've said enough. Look at the conversations you're having. Don't be go there starting to get emotional. My boss is mistreating me and then you start crying there. You look ridiculous. It's, it's not nice. You look pathetic. So you might be going through those things, but get your best friends or your auntie or whoever to listen to you. That is not the man to start getting emotional to on the first date. So if you're getting to know people, if you're getting to, to if you're starting dating, I wish you all the best. I do. It is an, a bit, it's a beautiful time. It's an amazing time. Please work on your attitude, work on your energy, have positive vibes, answer questions, be wise while at it. Don't give people unnecessary information. And also don't, don't hang on to people. Don't be too dependent on people too early. Don't be too attached too soon. So what? This is a stranger. It's someone you've just met. Don't be scared of losing people you don't have in your life that are not already in your life. Cindy, thank you so much for watching. My name is Modoni Mukiri. Please subscribe and please share this information. Bye.